If you are a coup right now, who does SKT remind you of right now? A team down, holding out with some nice team fighting. I was going to say Bob Brock feels like, the I'm to like this game is ruined. Oh, Thanks snap! Oh, oh, Smeb bringing out the plays. He had a bit more to offer. He is just taking the turret with happiness. A smile on his face. A few more hits. Smeb coming up with a 2v1. On the side of the matter. So win. We even heard Yoko Smith. Let's see. Oh, let's see what happens top. All right, let's throw everything and the sink at Smith. He's already chunked Hooney down. The flay comes out. Oh, oh sorts of shadows. Man. Smith's got one and he's not done. He's looking for Yellowstar and Rainover. Rainover unburrows the rest of Ku. Come in from the jungle. Escape from counter logic gaming, but Smeb has teleport. He pops it and he home guards in. He has plenty of damage to kill off one. Walter will try to trade one back. The flash again. Oh, oh my God, Smeb! Now Braj comes through, doesn't do anything. Marin Marin's back. Coming in from the side. Yeah, he's back, but no Meganar. Bengi creates a nice zone, gets a slow prey a bit low. Bang comes in to try to get the kill. Oh, Gorilla comes in with a big event. Baker in to get the stuns. Baker's trying to Baker's make plays. Baker's going nuts. He gets two. He won't get any more than that, though. Smeb going low as well, zoning a bit. But Kuro got the kill onto Faker. Looks like SKT is going to be able to win this fight, but it took everything they had. Smeb. They can't kill. Are you kidding Smeb. me? Snowball slows him down. It's not again. What is this? Smeb! He finally goes down. 
<laughs> that Gnar has a blade. Fnatic are not together though. They're waiting for Yellowstar to get up. Huni and Raynov are trying to buy time. They've killed themselves. They're Zach and they're looking for more. Prey is on the retreat. He's got Cassidy the light Raven. steel though. And with Reckless down, Smev is going huge. Yellowstar is late to the party. It's a triple kill for Smev. Kuro jumps over the wall looking for Febivin and will not find him. There. Now they've, G has so many strategic options at this point. Whenever you have a Rek'Sai, she's a hugely threatening split pusher, and this is probably the most effective way to run 1-3-1 one, one splits in the meta with the teleport top laner and then a Rek'Sai who can instantly show up in combat. They're going to try. Frey gets oh. hit, but he valves out. Yeah, he does. And a huge jump oh from Smeb. They jump all onto Sonstar. Sonstar. Oh, actually, Gorilla going down first. The ult's coming in from Frozen now, doing a bit of damage, but a double kill for Kuro. Oh, sees it. They're going in for Fnatic. They might be the chance back to turn it around. Crystal Arrow does connect onto Smev. The Event Horizon will lock Fnatic up. They've got Tyrant! To... Gets poked out pretty darn hard. Are we going to see the counter engage? Spab actually pulled down there, gets hit by that equalizer and by uh, the Nautilus ultimate, but it's just not enough. Prey popping over the wall, trying to get the autos down. Spab on a rampage through the enemy team, though. But Chaser moving forward. Has he gone too far? The answer is yes. Triple, Triple kill. kill for Spab. Quadra kill. Is that going to be a It will be the ribbon. Worst place you can put it. But maybe he's here to zone them away. It's a double bait. They want the fight. Who are going to lock down Sir T? The solar flare comes out and Sir T is killed. Baron secured by Ku Tigers as it is a complete run. Really getting a little bit low. Event Horizon locks him up a little bit. Prey over the wall. Tucson in behind, but he's just going to run away now. It looks like they get Kuro, I guess. Prey backing away. He could be in trouble. Kills coming in. Smeb trying to do some work, but Lilac and Tucson have done more. It's three for three right now. Gorilla a bit low. Lilac trying to escape the fight right now. Smell still full health, and now it's a 2v1. Tucson gets it, and I think the Tigers might get ace. This could take, this <laughs> no, could take a couple can't, years, guys. They can't kill each other. You sure? I think we're going to fight this to the bitter end. Here we go. The cage match inside the ultimate from Lilac. Three tanks go in. Three tanks emerge. <laughs> oh, the ball of this. Lilac. Now the slowest chase in history. Smith. Oh, oh, yeah, oh no. no. Oh, he's got the double buffs. Oh, still bullet. They're going to chase him down in some turns. Yes, he got to the super minion oh, lines. Oh. Go, super minions. He did. Smep's got go, this. Go, coming in. He's trying to turn it around. They get him. Oh, the, the super Horizon. minions won. They got scared because they're. Oh, oh, oh. Gonna pick a fight once more with Smith. A grand challenge throws down. Smith flashes away from the third prop of the broken wings. Broken wings. Broken wings. Hooney will fight. Ah! Fails the flash. And Smith will be smiling with that. Baker, eyes focused onto him. He's forced to flash over the wall, but it doesn't save him. Kuro gets the shot necessary. A double kill for the captain. And this spells very bad things for SKT. The bottom inhibitor is already broken, feeding super minions into the base. This is going to be Marn going down as well as he's too far from home. Over the wall. Bang's going to go down now. The fly in. The lull in. Smith. A few more hits. The parry is great. The thrust is better. And he goes down. Huge kills for Kuro. They're on the Nexus turret, and it looks like they could thwart the perfect record of SKT in Worlds. The first Nexus turret to go down, the ace of SKT in their own base, and the Ku Tigers will break the perfect record in Worlds for SKT. We're going to a game four. Ku Tigers decided to all in on this.